bike theft. Ever since bikes were invented, thieves have been drawn to them, and thieves on Coronado Island are no exception. A source at the Coronado Police Department says bike theft is one of the most prevalent crimes on the island. We decided to ask some people in Coronado how they feel about bike theft and what their experiences with it are. Our first task was to bike around Coronado and ask people on bikes some questions about bike theft. He's going over there. Yeah. Let's get him. Can we ask you guys a couple questions? We're making a documentary about stealing bikes. Could you uh, answer a couple questions for us, you think? Sure. How would you feel if your bike got stolen? Like, I'd be sad and mad. Can we ask you a couple questions? How would you feel if your bike if your bike got stolen today? Mad. What What would you guys do? Tell the police. Tell the police. Tell the police. Tell, the police. Tell my mommy, my Uncle. daddy. How would you feel if your bike was stolen? I would be angry. I think. You'd be angry. Yeah. Would you? What would you do? I'll go to the police. Go to the police. My uncle. My grandma, my grandpa. My you have a hard time? Uh, reach for the Smith & Wesson or for the Colt? My aunt, my cousins. You get a whole get posse a whole after these to, guys. Yeah. <laughs> How would you feel if your bike got stolen? I would cry. Has the bike ever been stolen from you before? Uh, when I was a little kid. Has your bike ever been stolen before? Yes. Are you in Coronado? Uh, no. In my hometown. Has your bike ever been stolen before? Oh, we only had it for a week. Oh, have you ever stolen someone's bike before? Um, I don't want to say. We can blur your face and your name. Oh, can you deepen my voice? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We wanted to get the perspective of a former bike thief, so we sat down with one. So we brought you here today because we are doing a documentary about bike theft. And as we know, you used to steal bikes. Yes, I did, Mac. I did steal bikes. And I had a lot of fun with it, too. For a more professional opinion, we decided to speak to an employee at Holland's Bicycle Shop. So do people uh, frequently try to sell you stolen bikes? It's actually pretty rare that we have somebody try to bring in a stolen bike. Um, if it is stolen, it's usually pretty obvious that the guy's trying to, you know, sell us something that's not his. Um, you know, usually they're nervous, usually they're not the best walks of life. We spoke with Kevin Nichols, the principal of Palm Academy, to get an educator's perspective on bike theft. Since I've been an administrator in the school district, um, as I've walked around the sites, I see dozens and dozens of bikes that are unlocked. And, uh, and sometimes I even see the owners leave them unlocked. And, and one time I was walking over to the high school in the front, and I saw a kid drop what looked like a very expensive bike to me, probably five, six hundred bucks, on the ground. And, uh, and I said, hey, yeah, you, you forgot to lock your bike. Not, not to mention that he just tossed it. Right. But you forgot to lock your bike. Oh, it doesn't matter. I said, well, what if it gets stolen? And he said, uh, well, my folks will get me a new one. Uh, what was your motivation to, like, steal them or like take them well i thought that living in coronado you got a little too much you got a little too much room to do to do dumb things like leave your bike unlocked at a school so i went to the school and like i don't know every couple of weeks i took my bit took my pick of maybe two or three bikes that were unlocked do you have any uh way to tell if a bike is stolen like a serial number or something 99% of bikes have serial numbers on the frames. Um, basically the best thing to do is to register your bike with the police department and they'll take down the serial number, the address, um, name, phone number, all your information, the make and model of the bike, and basically your paperwork when you purchase a bike, a new bike, will, uh, will all match uh, whatever they have on file at the police department. What did you do with those bikes? Took them home and sold them. And then the ones that weren't able to be sold right away, I had my, had my uh, friend fix them up. For how long did you do this? Uh, maybe three months. H how about you, you tell us a bit more about like, how you do it and like, some stories of doing it? Well, it's, it's actually really, really easy. Now, usually people that lock, 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 lock their bikes up, it, the numbers that are already on the lock, uh, they might initiate a birthday, they might say uh, a date, a year. Usually, uh, people usually leave their bikes, their bike locks, 
with two or three numbers correct, usually it's the first one or the last one that's changed. On the side of my apartment building there are six apartments and there's a wooden fence and uh, and I told, I've told every person that moved in, I, I wouldn't put your bike out there. It's, it's likely to get stolen. I put mine in a locked garage. And yeah, over the last um, year, there have been eight bikes stolen right there. And that means they're, they're, whoever stole them is from here to that wall outside of my bedroom window while it's happening. You know? how, how often do you, get, do you guys get like complaints of them? Um... A bike. Or like a report. A, bike, a report of a bike being stolen. Multiple times a day. Yeah, it's, it's pretty often here. Um, it's one of the biggest crimes on the island. And it's, it's one of the really easy things to do because it takes very simple tools to bust the right. you know, basic locks. Um, it's really important to get a decent lock, you know, whether it's heavy or not, or you, know, you want something that's going to be really armed and uh, give you a lot of defense. Like, what do you recommend for um, uh, the best lock that you can get is always a, a metal U-lock. A lot of people like the cable locks because they have the combinations and they're more flexible. Um, so if you can't get a U-lock to work for you, I would say just get the thickest cable lock you can or get one that has you know metal um, armor on the outside of it. And uh, keys are always better than combination locks. Have you ever had a student that you know who stole bikes? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, some of the students at Palm Academy are at Palm Academy because of poor choices they've made. Good kids, fairly bright kids that may have made poor choices. I hope that they learn from those choices. But um, some of them don't have the uh, economic advantages of their peers here on the island and they take advantage of, of uh, either those free bikes that are, that are laying around unlocked or occasionally um, I think they've gone to greater um, uh, lengths to get a hold of bicycles, getting into people's yards and garages. Um, and since uh, in the seven years I've been here, I have intervened in, in two or three of those thefts and was able to make it a lesson and, and get the, the, uh, the bikes back to their owners. Um, and, and I think that I hope that the students learn from, from that experience. Um, there were there were some consequences. What made you stop? Like, were you ever caught, or like, you just decided to stop doing it one day? So, one night, me and my friends went up to the school. Now we weren't looking for bikes; we were just looking to have a good time, just hang out with my bros, you know, kick it, boom. And we went out on the bleachers, met some people. Then we got down, went onto the pool side of the school, and there were a couple bikes that weren't locked, so we took them, and we rode around Coronado, got back to my house, fell asleep, and the next day, we found out that those people that we met, they were their bikes, and they contacted us on, face contacted us on Facebook, and they threatened to call the police. So we gave the bikes back, nothing, no harm done, we never talked to, I never talked to them again, and... That's kind of where we stopped, just because it got kind of boring. You know, my brother-in-law is a naval officer um, who lived uh, over here on Orange Avenue when he, when he first got in the Navy uh, with my sister. And he was commuting to 32nd Street by bus, putting his bike on, on the rack on the front of the bus. And coming home one day, you know, he wasn't locking it because he was sitting in the bus and he could see it. You know, he wasn't. He didn't think he had to lock it to the front of the bus. Well, he he wasn't paying attention. If for one second somebody got off the bus and grabbed his bike and split, and this was a like a, a very expensive um, road bike. Do so, you guys um, help the people who like get like compla uh, put you know, complaints in? Yeah, we're we're obviously gonna do everything we can. We used to register the bikes through us, and then you know do all the paperwork ourselves and send it to the uh, the police department. But uh, they've pretty much started doing it all on their own now. So, I mean, you know, we just always suggest when, when people buy a bike to register it, it's only a $3 fee. And it's, you know, it's a couple minutes out of your time. Biking is not a crime. However, bike theft is a crime, and people do it anyway. The Coronado Police Department says that they get one to three calls a day concerning bike theft. And if they don't catch the thief there at the scene of the crime, there's usually a good chance the thief will get away. 
so please protect your bike. Lock it well and register it with the police. And if you see a bike that's unlocked, just leave it alone. <laughs>